Nobody can be right 100% of the time, but Einstein was right a lot of the time. And we don't want to just dump Einstein out with the garbage quite yet, okay? He wasn't so much wrong as not quite there yet, okay? He didn't quite come up with a comprehensive picture of reality as he had originally hoped to do. Remember, what he basically did was he simply embedded the former classical geometry of reality, Newtonian physics, in the intrinsic geometry of reality, which is relativity. That is, we have the following analogy. Euclidean geometry is to intrinsic or differential geometry as classical physics is to relativity. Okay, now this, this is a very fundamental math physics analogy. Basically, moving from Euclidean geometry into intrinsic or differential geometry is the same thing as moving from classical physics into relativity. So in as much as you can, you can actually move mathematically from Euclidean geometry into intrinsic geometry, you can move from classical physics into relativity. So Einstein had a lot of things going for him in terms of his, he was a very sophisticated theorist. He wasn't alone, of course, Hilbert and uh, Lorentz and other people were sort of closing in on what he was doing, but nevertheless, to the extent that this, this mathematical analogy is valid, so is the physical counterpart of that analogy. In other words, Einstein was correct to at least that extent, but he, he simply couldn't quite take it all the way to the finish line. So that's where he fell short. Okay, go ahead, honey. This absolute reference point would of course be Chris's conspanding singularity that is coming and he asks if you agree. Absolutely, there's a distributed zero or a distributed origin, shall we say. There's actually the, the distinction one zero or the distinction true false of two valued logic. Okay, and this is the absolute reference point, but it's it's absolute in the sense of a distributed reference point that can actually exist everywhere, as we all know. And even in a Newtonian Cartesian manifold, every point can be designated as the origin. So this is what we have to be able to do in an ontology like the CTMU as well. 